All right, moving right along, it seems like the Israeli-Palestine conflict is spilling over into the United States. Now, I know I was talking shit about the rest of the world when our problems were spilling out over into their countries, but what the fuck is up with America sucking Israeli cock? I mean, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm not anti-Israeli. I don't fucking support Palestine. I think Hamas are terrorists. I think they're the... Israel Palestine's problems are Israel Palestine's problems. They're not American problems. But why are Jewish people getting beat up in the streets in America over this crap? You suck! Just, seriously, I, I don't understand why the fuck that's happening. But let's get into this article because, uh, yeah. A Jewish attacked at La Cienega restaurant by pro Palestinians. Cop says hate crime. Garasetti outraged. An attack on a group of Jewish men at a restaurant in the Beverly Grove area which were being investigated by police Wednesday as a possible hate crime. Through commendation from the mayor and from a Los Angeles city councilman who said the victims were Jewish diners targeted by a pro-Palestinian group. Like, how can you be pro-terrorism? Hamas used children as fucking human shields. You're all talking about, like, making America a better place and shit. Then how about we put America first? Like, let them deal with their own fucking problems. We shouldn't be sending aid. That's how winning is done! They, the victims were confronted shortly before 10 p.m. Tuesday outside Sushi Fumi in the 300 block of North La Cienga Boulevard. According to the Los Angeles Police Department, which confirms that the incident was being investigated as possible hate crime. Police said one minor injury was reported. No one was arrested in what Mayor Eric Garcetti characterized as an organized anti-Semitic attack. Jewish Angelinos, like all residents, should always feel safer in a city. L.A. is a city of belonging, not of hate. There is simply no place for anti-Semitism, discrimination, or prejudice of any kind in Los Angeles. We never tolerate bigotry and violence in the communities, he said on Twitter. Do you know what? It's really fucking awesome that most of these pro-Palestinian people always end up being fucking leftists. And the leftists are the ones that are usually crying about anti-Semitism. And it's fucking ridiculous. They're fucking a bunch of hypocrites. You suck! Um, Councilman Paul Cortez said the restaurant incident was one of two attacks directed at Jewish victims over the course of 24 hours. So there's two fucking attacks. Uh, last night, members of caravan of pro-Palestinian protesters targeted innocent Jewish diners in a vicious attack. While they were sitting outside of a sushi restaurant, and a separate attempt was made by two drivers to run over a Jewish man who had to flee for his life. Both incident, incidents were captured on video. They were anti-Semitic hate, hate crimes. These are unconscionable, Cortez said in a statement released by Wednesday morning. They are fucking, like, unconscionable. These are fucking your fellow Americans. Winning. No. You suck. Like, your fellow Americans. You're trying to run him over in a car and shit. Talking about making a better world. You suck! These violent acts will go unchecked. We will do everything necessary to bring these criminals to justice and to restore order to our city streets. Last night, after being briefed at the Wild Share Division by LAPD, I visited the restaurant where the attack took place and met with a young man who witnessed the entire tragedy unfold. He said, I committed to him that we will work diligently, deploy more resources to the region, and bring justice for the victims who were brutally beaten. I intend to keep my promise to that young man and to our entire community. We will never allow for anyone to strike fear into our hearts because we were Jews. We are not going to allow the violence in the Middle East to spill out onto the streets of Los Angeles. Everyone is entitled to express their opinion, but never through violence. Pro-Palestinian protesters cannot be allowed to viciously assault random people on the street because they happen to look or be Jewish, Cortez said. According to CBLSA, cell phone video showed a group of men get out of the car and start to attack the diners while yelling racial slurs. One of the diners who was not Jewish told CBLSLA that CBSLA that the caravan waving pro-Palestinian flags approached and they began throwing bottles at him and the group he was dining with. The man said he is a photo photographer and the group was meeting at the restaurant to plan a wedding. The man said he was physically attacked and tried to defend the group. He said the attackers used anti-Jewish profanity. He also said he was pepper sprayed during the attack and had to go to the hospital like this fucking war coming Winning. The attackers no. were described only as men wearing all black the restaurant so they were in tifa apparently it was dot damage police said meanwhile police are reviewing security video recording monday night that appears to show an orthodox jewish man being chased by a caravan of people waving palestinian flags near rosewood and la brie avenues 
C CBS LA reported the man escaped was not hurt. The incidents has occurred in the wake of escalation of an Israeli-Palestine conflict. At least 200 Palestinians have been killed in the Israeli bombings of Gaza, while Hamas rockets have killed at least 12 Israelis. I mean, that is a disparity in the deaths. But Hamas hide behind civilian targets. So, um, either Tuesday, a crowd, a large crowd of protesting demonstrators gathered outside the Israeli consulate in West Los Angeles. The rally was organized by Palestinian youth movement over the weekend. Thousands of pro-Palestinian demonstrators rallied in Westwood, calling for an end to the violence. The lo local office of the Council of American Islamic Relations issued the following statement Wednesday: as, civil, as a civil rights and advocacy organization, we support everyone's right to free speech, the right to assemble and rally in support of prospective political views. However, despite heightened te tensions in Palestine and Israel, it is neither acceptable for the conflict to spill over into our streets and cities. Violence and intimidation should be condemned, investigated, and forwarded and prosecuted. Uh, the Anti-Defamation League announced a reward for 5000 for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons responsible for the assault of the diners. The Simon Weisenthal Center denounced the attack. Los Angeles is the second city for almost every nation and ethnic group in the world. That means wh wherever there is a flashpoint around the world, someone here feels it intensely. That is doubly true about the Gaza war for both Jews and Palestinians said Rabbi Abraham Cooper, the center's associated dean and director of global so social action. No one in Williamsburg, New, New York, Golden Green, London, and Los Angeles stated this conflict, and no one has the power to impact on events in the Holy Land, but that has stopped the hate, threats, and violence from proliferating into many places. We need elected officials, law enforcement, and media to give the concern serious attention to Berkeley. The Jewish Federation of Great Los Angeles Communities secretly initiative scheduled a briefing Tuesday morning with local and national political law enforcement office to address the pricing deeply concerned issues the group said to a letter constituents Wednesday. CSI is reaching out to all the partners across the community to ensure them that our federation will do everything to protect their institutions and our Jewish community. Like, I don't understand why spill it into an American. American Jewish people are not Israeli Jewish people. America is not Israel. Israel is not America. Winning. No. You suck. America is in Palestine. Palestine's problems are not America's problems. I'm just fucking saying.